hello friends welcome back to this class and in this video i'm going to show you how to model this uh, curve here so again i'm going to use this same technique i just used for this bowel so i'm going to create a curve and i'm going to like revolve that to create the body and then let's see how we can do this you know, handle and as you can see it's kind of like welded there it's a single piece it's kind of welded here and here as well so let's see how we can do this so first i'm going to do this body and then i'm going to do this handle and here i'm going to show you some knobs and polygon integration technique okay so let's start so let's go to maya here and let's first open our scene so go to this open no open file here or open scene right click on it you can just right click here and you'll get your recent no recent files here so let me choose my recent file here so let's don't save so this is our last class file and let's go let's turn on our reference image you know layer there and here is my reference image so first thing let's select the reference image and I'm going to align the reference image to any of the grid points. So you can see, let's see, let's see this grid point here. And any of the grid points should be the center bottom part of the curve. Okay. So let's see this, this part. Now you can see the center bottom part, the bottom center part of the curve is here at the grid, you no know, center here. So let's go to create and let's use CV curve tool. So again, the reason I put that reference image to a point here because I just want to snap and start the curve here. So if if the like if the image isn't there, so I don't have anything there to snap. Let's say this image is here where there is no grid points, so I cannot snap to anywhere anything. So that's the one reason I just want to, I just wanted to put that here. So okay, let's bring the tool again. And now I can snap it. Let's turn off then. And then I want to do a straight line. So hold shift and put three, four, maybe five point till here, till this area. Don't follow this curve here because it's gonna give you a like a rounded bottom part to your model. So then I want a corner here. So I'm going to put one point there and there. So very close to the corner point. Then let's, so here I'm just like guessing the design and just following kind of in an offset manner. So then let's go straight and here there is a design here as you can see this part so i'm going to do that here so draw something like this and let's do and let's follow the curve here so i'm roughly following the contour there so let's go here and something like this so this is the thickness inside there so let's put so i'm trying to put you know parallel lines there parallel vertex here you don't have to do all those things here let's say the inside part is plain and the this design is only exist on the outside so let's try to maintain this you no know, offset same okay now Again, I'm like finishing here, press enter to complete and then right click uh, on the curve, then go to control vertex and select this vertex and it should be perfectly you no know, snap to this line. So let's turn on this snap to grid and this drag and then off, just make it little. Okay, so make sure this, these two vertices are lined off with a like, vertical line. So this is my curve, then I'm going to revolve it to get the surface. Okay, so once 
I complete the curve then select the curve in ob object mode then go to surface menu and revolve okay here you can see there is a big problem and uh, it it gives me unexpected result and let's see why it's you know it happened it's because of the pivot as you can see the curve is here but if you check the pivot pivot automatically comes in the origin area whenever you create a curve anywhere in the scene the pivot comes at the origin area it's by default so i just want to change the pivot to this location this line so that from here it can revolve so let's quickly bring the pivot to the center by just going modify and center pivot and then i'm going to pivot mode by pressing d and then snap turn on snap to grid and just pull that to this line turn off this let's revolve again so as you can see now it gives me the perfect result so just make sure your pivot is at the center okay so this is my curve then let's put some divisions here as you can see the segments is too low so let's go to revolve inputs here and then put you no know, let's put 20 so now i completed the body in nerves now let's see how we can do this like uh, this handle which is welded here and welded here and here is a shape you can see kind of extruded shape so i cannot do this here inside nerves so now it's a nerves model so i need to convert it to polygon in order to do that so let's convert this nerves object to polygon so let's go to modify and convert here you get all the convert options so you can find nerves to polygon at the top go to this option box and let's see the settings so always i tend to reset every tools i use because i don't know what are the options i had i had been used before or someone else has said so it's a good practice to reset first so that as you can see it was like something else so just reset so that you start from the default so now i'm going to change this to quad so i don't want any triangle when i convert it so i want only quad quad means this square faces i don't want triangle face so quad face and then i want a, a polygon edge i want a polygon edge like this i want a polygon model like exactly like this a structure so for that i am going to use control points so it's gonna see these points and it will exactly give me a polygon object like this okay so with these two settings squad and control points let's test select okay as you can see i have now two objects the knobs is still there and the new polygon object is here i can say this is the polygon object because of this jaggedness as you can see nerves is a very smooth object although it has like less polygons you can see between area is also smooth curve but for polygon it's always straight and edge is always straight okay so this is my polygon i don't need this nerves anymore so so let's delete this and bring that to that location by pressing zero there okay so this is my polygon object let's see how we can do the uh, how we can do this handle so i'm going to use maybe this this face so i don't get any face at the center here i get a get an s there so i just want to rotate it before i so again the pivot is here so let's go modify and center pivot this time and i'm going to rotate it in such a way that this face comes straight here like like if you see this this would be 90 degree i mean this the center of this edge should be here somewhere so i have a face now so let's go modify and freeze it so that i reset this value here freeze it then i'm going to okay so yeah i'm going to use this face so from here i'm going to you can see this this thing so i'm gonna extrude that so let's i think 
let's modify this line a little bit toward the top there so that this this face is a little like longer than before then go to face mode here and I'm going to extrude this face so let's extrude and like move in G Z axis like this then I'm going to do this bottom part here so as you can see I don't have yes I have edges but I think I want to put one edge there or I can just move this line maybe this vertices a little bit down there to align that edge so let's move this to align this so from here I'm going to extrude that so still I believe the thickness is too high there so I'm going to still modify this edge so move it somewhere here so I'm just like making this face ready it's like kind of rectangle and I'm going to like connect it here so let's move it a little bit and now I'm going to extrude this area a little bit here somewhere so let's extrude this face so shift right click extrude that face and rotate it like this and then again extrude so press G so kind of I'm extruding and extending that mesh there I believe this should be you know rotated a little bit and here as well so because I'm losing this volume this offset okay so now it looks good now I can select this face and this face still I feel I should you know, make it same thickness so this face and this face let's go to edit mesh and bridge and let's give some divisions there and change this to blend something like this okay so yeah something like this then we can modify this shape manually a little bit so let's move this a bit to get the proper curve of that handle now when I press 3 on my keyboard you can see the smooth version just press 3 on your keyboard this is the smooth preview for polygon mesh and as you can see I'm losing this you no know, uh, if you look at the reference this is a little tighter and here as well so I'm going to add some loops there so let's add an edge loop here so that somewhere here so that when I smooth when I press 3 it's a little bit like hold uh, tight there and let's put maybe maybe one edge somewhere here at the center so when I smooth so I'm getting a good result there and then then let's put some maybe one edge at the center of this you no know, this side thickness there so this edge loop is going like this and let's press 3 and now you can see the handle looks good now it's like looking connected here with the body and here as well so in the next video we are going to see how we are going to do this spoon